Hi YouTube, it's me, Creatively Calm, and I've found another project for us to do uh, together today, this evening. So this is a little jewelry kit that I purchased at my local dollar store. Um, I just thought it would be fun for us to do something, I don't know how creative it is, but um, just something we can do together. And so I'm going to open it, and it says the kit makes one necklace one bracelet and two earrings and so just cut it around so that you can open it and there are these pretty blue beads and you probably can't see it but there's a little bit of uh, clear beading thread and then the chains for the, the bracelet and the necklace as well as some posts I think for the earrings and these are the charms uh, here for both the bracelet and the necklace. And of course it makes lovely crinkling sounds. I like the gentle sound of the charms. moving in the bag. So, we have that. And it comes with instructions, which I will follow loosely. Um, it says that you need needle nose pliers, which I have. Two kinds, actually. And a wire cutter. And the rest, I guess we shall see. I also have a pair of scissors handy, should I need them. So, this is what I thought we would spend some time doing. And just before I get started, I kind of like the sound of gentle tapping. That's my little, I just did this so it'd be easy for you guys to see, uh, it's some white paper, but I think that's a nice, nice soothing sound. And I've also have my coffee here, which I enjoy. So now I'm going to lay out uh, the first project and we'll get started. Hi everyone, um, we're back. I've laid out the um, pieces for the bracelet. So we've got six charms um, for the bracelet and about seven jumps for the attachment and also the fix, the fastener, and the piece of chain. So the first charm is um, a little... Um, oh my word. <laughs> it's a little clover leaf. That's what it is. And then the next one is a swirl, a peace sign, um, this little bead that says happiness on it, and it's kind of blue. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's not um, very clear even, like the blue isn't as clear as it should be. And a little flower, and then this is a star. So I've laid out um, the bracelet. The first thing is to attach the fastener, so I'm going to take one of these jumps and uh, I'll open it with the needle nose pliers, attach it to the end of the chain, and I also have the fastener here that I can attach, and then I'll just close the jump. And there you have it. The fastening is, a, is attached um, to the chain. And now I just have to decide sort of where I want 
the charms and then how many links apart I want to uh, have them. So I think they should be closer. I guess I'll start about here and um, I'll take another jump. I don't actually need to pick that up until I have the jump ready. So I have another jump. I'm going to open it with my needle nose pliers. And I think I'd like to start the charms, you know, maybe here on the bracelet. And I will put the first charm, which is the clover leaf charm. There we go. And uh, close the jump. Make sure it's nicely closed. Okay, tend not to overbend it like I just did. <laughs> there we go. And there we have our first charm. So I think I'd like to put the charms um, maybe every fourth. Uh, I'm just going to see how that spreads out. Four, four. Yeah, I think that would work. That works well. Um, so I'm going to put them in every fourth link. So we've got the first one here. One, two, three, four. So I'll put it on the fifth. And I'll prepare my jump. This is kind of easy. Um, I like the instant gratification of putting it together. One, two, three, four. Here's the fifth. <laughs> of putting it together that it's not, you know, it's not really a creative process per se, um, but at the end you have something pretty and uh, it's kind of a relaxing project. Not a lot of having to think. Um, but when I'm done I have a little bracelet that I can wear and I can show people and um, I like that sense of accomplishment even though I didn't really have anything to do with picking it out or making it look a certain way. Um, it's just a nice, relaxing project that we can do together and uh, have a bracelet to show for it at the end. So now we've got the second one and I'll prepare the next jump. I really love jewelry. Um, that's one thing I'll, I'll probably, as the weeks go by, um, show you some of my jewelry. I tend to uh, really love silver and um, semi-precious stone jewelry, you know, like amber and labradorite and, well, mother of pearl, all kinds of things. Um, and so my earring collection is rather large. Uh, we may have to do that in a, a couple of videos. Um, but so, you know, I, my friends tease me that I'm always attracted to shiny things. So I guess that I never lost that as a kid. I, that stayed with me. And uh, so the idea of making some jewelry uh, together, of course, was very appealing to me. And perhaps the more I do this, I will learn and maybe start making some better quality jewelry with, you know, materials um, that are silver and that are semi-precious stone. But in the interim, this is cute and, um, and it's fun. One, two, three. Oop. Don't try to not to drop your drop your jump like I do, if you can help it. <laughs> and uh, there goes the next charm. But you see, it goes together really easily. Um, it's not difficult. And we're coming along. And then I need to open the next jump. And I'm going to 
count my spaces again. So I have one, two, three, four. So this is the fifth chain link from the last one that I put on. And it's going to be a flower charm. And I'll put it together. And these jumps are very um, bendy. So I'm having a little bit too much luck bending it open and unclosing it. Um, so they were almost done. I only have one more to go. And I like the way that it moves and catches the light. Um, and so finally we'll put on the last one. And again, I'll count my links. One, two, three, four, and this is the fifth. And final, take the star charm and put it on. And then I'll close it. And that's it. We now have a bracelet, a charm bracelet, and I lay it out. That's the finished piece. Um, and I like the sound that it makes when I play with it. And I don't know that I'll be able to put it on for you one-handed, but I can show you what it looks like on. Yeah, there it is. And I like the feeling of the charms moving against my wrist. So I may just wear this for a little bit. So, that is our bracelet. Everybody, so we're now going to work on the necklace. And the way this necklace is designed, it's that it has a piece of chain and then beads, which I'm going to bead right here. And it gave me this piece that you probably can't see of, um, maybe if I do that, of uh, beading wire another little piece of chain, then a couple of charms, and then the last bit of chain. So that's our necklace. So now I'm going to bead <clears throat> uh, the, the blue beads that are quite pretty actually. And so basically they've given us um, in the kit, I don't know that you can really see this, but it's like a, oops, oops. <laughs> so um, that's another thing that happens when you bead is that you can drop things. Anyways, these are like blue glass, clear, very light blue glass, and uh, and then a, quite a pretty, I don't know if they're glass or plastic, but they're also the same light blue, but they're like um, crackled inside, and so they catch the light quite, quite nicely. So um, we'll start with one, and I've already put a, a crimp bead that they provided at the bottom here, so we're going to put uh, first one of the blue glass beads. Oh, I already had one on. Okay. And um, then one of the uh, of the other, the larger beads that are um, like, they look like they're shattered inside, so they catch the light. And then we just vacillate between the two, alternate, uh, until we have beaded all the beads. And at that point, we will put on another uh, crimp bead, and that'll be what attaches this piece of chain to this small piece of chain here. Um, so the necklace is kind of interesting in that it's, um, you know, and it's unusual the way, the way they've put it together. Uh, it's not symmetrical, which I kind of like. I like that that difference. And um, and again, just really easy uh, thing to put together that leaves you with a little jewelry set at the end. Um, 
So I like these sort of relaxing projects that I can do with you. And hopefully, um, just sort of watching me put it together and you know, listening to my voice and some of the sounds that the beads make, the crinkling of the package that the beads came in, um, is soothing. I find these sounds, when they're gentle, soothing. So. And, and you can see, it starts to shape up and look like something pretty quickly. Um, that's what I have so far. But I like the way the light catches the beads. And we'll keep going. Maybe another sip of coffee. I didn't plan for my coffee cup to match the color of the beads, but it does. Happy accident, I guess. I've always admired people who, you know, can bead really, really well and make beautiful necklaces and bracelets and things. I don't, uh, I'm definitely not one of those. I don't know that I have the patience. Um, I, I'm a more instant gratification kind of, kind of a person. Um, so I like my crafts um, to yield something more quickly. And so, you know, the, the constant act of beading um, probably wouldn't be something I would choose to do as a general hobby. But a little piece to put in a project like this is, is kind of fun. And we're almost at the end here. Luckily I didn't lose that bead. And because I have, I think, one more of the larger, yeah, this is the last of the larger beads. And stick that on. And then one more of these blue glass beads. And then finally, I have another crimp bead, which you won't be able to see, I don't think. I can barely see it here in person, but there's this tiny, tiny bead in the palm of my hand. And I just dropped it, but it's here on my workspace, so that's good. And, oh my word. It's a tiny little thing. Okay, so I have now done it. It is now on the necklace, and I think that's quite pretty. So, because it's a crimp bead, I'm going to just pull it out a little bit and string my string through it again um, so that I can tie a knot around it and then crimp it, which should make it a pretty solid, um, you know, so that the beads stay together when I attach them and the whole thing to the chain again. Unfortunately that didn't work out quite as I had hoped. Um, I need to get the crimp bead down on top of the other beads before I do that. There we go. Hi everybody, we've had to move to my tablet to finish filming the video. Um, my phone died. <laughs> well it didn't die, but it ran out of memory. So I decided to move on. I did finish the necklace. Um, that I was working on. So here's the finished piece with the blue beads and a little swirl charm and this one says life underneath the blue. Uh, so the last piece to do is actually the earrings. And I still like the sound of the crinkling package. So what we require for the earrings are two of these posts. They gave me three. And two charms, two flower charms, which I have here. And two blue beads. And two earring hooks. And I'm going to check out the instructions and start. Um, 
So we had a little bit of a mishap. The uh, bead on the fr for the first earring broke <laughs> as I was trying to um, attach or try to make a, a loop out of the wire. So I'm just going to make this one earring so we can see what it would have been like. Because um, I don't have another one of these beads left. And for $2, I really haven't lost anything. We've had all of this fun putting it together and this time together. Um, and I think that that is worth far, far more. <laughs> um, and it was a fun project. I'm impressed, actually, with the level of, um, you know, what you would end up with for $2. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a cute, they're cute pieces. So here we go. Um, this is the earring. This is what it would look like. Well, this is what it looks like. Uh, if I had two, I'd have a pair. And I'm just trying to get it. There we go. So, and I, you know, I can see that they would catch the light um, and be quite sweet. So that's the earring. And we have the bracelet that we made in the beginning. And then we have the necklace. And so I think that was a pretty successful project. So, as usual at this time, I hope that you have enjoyed um, this little activity uh, and our time together. And I hope that you found it relaxing and soothing. And I know I do. I always enjoy my time with you. Uh, wanting, even though this is very early in my YouTube making video career, I, uh, I look forward to making these videos. So I will be posting this very shortly, which is when, of course, you'll be seeing it. And I would ask you to remember to... If you like the video, please like it, share it, and we welcome and really, really invite you to subscribe. Thanks so much. Sleep well, YouTube.